relish on her burger. All right, so I'm going to react to this stupid video um, that French Fried Goblin put out um, accusing me of being an animal abuser. Okay. Right, so how many times does everyone have to tell you that referring to a Jewish woman as a goblin is anti-Semitic? Um, apparently a million times, which clearly you don't give a fuck, and you continue to do so. Boy, I see this is going to be an interesting little rager of yours, huh? It sucks being caught in 4K, huh, foodie? So, what is this? This report that you didn't show the whole thing of? This means um, previous medical condition, um, previous medical issues. So this is what the circle in red says. Um, it says that... Um, the cat was saved. Sauvée d'une situation de négligence, one to two weeks. So she's she. They're saying that the cat was saved from a negligent situation, which could have been FFG telling that. That to me sounds like FFG telling the vet that. That doesn't sound like the vet coming up with that conclusion themselves. Uh, yes, you are right. That could very well be the details charted by the veterinarian technician when uh, FFG brought in BBJ for her appointment. However, what did not come out of FFG's mouth was the diagnoses the veterinarian herself made. Um, but yeah, let's carry on. Let's see what else you have to say. So I actually have the number for the vet um, in question. So I will take the liberty at some point of contacting the vet to find out for myself um, information. I don't know if it's going to be confidential, but I'm going to let them know that there could possibly be a defamation case and explain the situation. And I'm also going to question them on health conditions that are normal for an elderly cat to have. So wait, let me get this straight. You're going to pull a Karen and call the veterinary office and threaten them with defamation is what I'm hearing. Because why would you have to mention that? Um, and, and see if if you were negligent or not. Are you fucking Are you in, you're insane, aren't you? Because that is in, that is the most Karen shit I've ever fucking heard, foodie. Go ahead, by all means, please do contact them. I'm sure they're itching to charge you with abuse. So get prepared for that. Um, so furthermore, this is just, there's no context to this. This is just more BS and your brain dead zombies are willing to eat that up. Of course they are. What is it with you insulting everyone who subscribes to another reactor and calling them braid them zombies? Like, honestly, the same could be said about your followers who constantly coddle you and pat you in the back when they know what you're doing is wrong and you seek that. You've said it multiple times that you want a hug box. So okay, we're going to be juvenile, aren't we? This is a whole juvenile thing, isn't it? You're going to be juvenile about this whole fucking thing. You cannot be responsible. You cannot be mature about anything and say, yeah, I fucked up. Okay? No, 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 no. You have to make a whole spectacle of the whole thing. By the way, we didn't forget that you fell out of water fast. Um, so don't worry about that. That will be dealt with. As for any of those health conditions listed, other than the nails, everything else is expected in an elderly dying cat, which is why instead of prolonging her suffering and having her on treatments like you force fed your dog several pills before you had to inevitably put it down, which you will have to do very shortly for BBJ, uh, I was taking my pet to the vet to determine the best course of action. No, all of the conditions that BBJ have are not typical normal things that just you get as older, okay? Decaying teeth, hmm, sure one could argue that that happens anyways as you get older, right? But we have multiple videos proving that you have known that BBJ needed dental care and you refused to do it. Why? Because you were chasing after a cracky and Lachine. That could have been prevented and treated. She didn't have to be in pain the way you put her in pain. A lot of her conditions could have been prevented. 
foodie. And you cannot lie to me, I was a veterinarian technician. Ear infections, things like that, um, kidney failure, especially kidney failure. I've known for a while she was having, uh, she had chronic kidney disease, which is incurable. It is not normal for your cat to be walking around with an ear infection. That only happens when you neglect their ear care and you're not cleaning their ears like you're supposed to. And thank you for admitting the fact that you knew she was in kidney failure and did nothing to seek treatment for it. You basically just blatantly admitted to neglecting her medical care. Thank you. Um, the vet told me to give her more water. She wasn't starving to death. She was fed every day. If she was starving, why would animal control not remove my pets from the home on the three occasions they were there? Lies, defamation, and lies. I can doubt that the veterinarian just told you just give her more water, okay? I would like to see the medical documentation on that, foodie. And furthermore, animal control has to follow the laws. And they only revoke animals in severe visual torture situations, okay? What they probably most likely did with you and Pete's was issue you a warning, which is what it seems like it was, right? Because the animal control comes to the villa it, they're told to take care of the situation. Pete tells them that you need to, you're coming back. And when you come back, you're taking her to the vet. There were multiple stickers on your door from animal control attempting to contact you. Do you really think we're blind? Across the board, even people who aren't fans of FFG saw that for themselves. Stop trying to fucking deflect from this by throwing around the word defamation. You would have to prove to a court of law that you never engaged in a back and forth or provoked in any way, shape, or form, and you simply cannot do that. Plus, there's a ton of video footage of your neglect towards those cats, plural, cats, Sam and BBJ. Starving to death also is an indication when cats stop eating that they're suffering and they're dying. So you're again prolonging her suffering. So who's the real animal abuser, French fried goblin? BBJ is getting medical care now and she's eating and thriving. There is video, as a matter of fact, I have video footage myself of you purposely starving BBJ for three days before you took her to what was supposed to be her final vet appointment. Why would you purposely starve your elderly cat for three days before an appointment? In my opinion, allegedly, so that you could create a medical situation of some sort. That way, when you walked into the veterinarian, you could say she's older and dying. Let's euthanize her. And you thought in your brain that they would just be like, sure, here you go. That's not how it works. That tells me even more that you've barely been to a vet office. Again, there's multiple videos of you not feeding your cats. And the nerve of you to say you saved that cat from death? She was going to take a dirt nap? You killed both your dogs. You euthanized both your dogs. You killed your second dog, Maggie, under suspicious circumstances because it would no longer eat because of separation anxiety. A dog won't starve itself. It will eventually eat, you big fat liar. How in the fuck do you think you're going to prove a case of defamation when there's a million videos of you going after FFG for the death of her dogs that have been legally documented, documented by veterinarians? And yes, it is known that in some cases, especially in cases where a bonded pair of animals are separated, that they will, will go into a depression state and not eat that is a fact. It's just a scientific fact. You can't, you can't talk circles around that, foodie. But then again, keep doing so because now you're just giving all the evidence FFG needs to also counterclaim you if it ever even makes it in front of a judge and he doesn't laugh at you. Uh, also, that rerun of the play of me saying, BBJ, you want to go in a box? Jokes. All jokes. If I wanted my cat Ted... I wouldn't have had her for 19, 20 years. You weird psycho. Absolutely not a single person who loves their pets in the history of loving pets has ever sat there and joked about putting their cat into a cardboard box. Okay? 
You did not do that as a joke. You have been trying to get rid of BBJ and Sam for the longest. It really, really amplified when you met Cracky. Because you can't fathom the idea that you can have both. You can love someone and you can still love your pets. Not a funny thing to joke around about, right, foodie? I'm sure you would be appalled if people joked around about that with you. So you need to get your chins out the fuck out of my life and get a life of your own. Because at the end of the day, this beautiful sea view is what I wake up to next to my real husband, not a pathetically fabricated lumberjack man, okay? You single white female. You're supposed to be in the midst of marital bliss, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, for the first two years of mine and my husband's relationship, who I've been together with for 15 years, we were barely seen by friends and family because we were spending every single second of our lives together. Yet you have every single second of your life with your nose up on the internet all over fucking Twitter, which is apparent. By the way, why don't you just fucking show your face on Twitter and say shit? Since you're so brave to go online and say the shit you're saying. Why aren't you on Twitter saying this shit? To, you're, you're getting shit from people on Twitter, but you're not interacting. Funny, huh? Coward. That's what it is. Stop trying to flex about a fucking marriage. Especially a marriage that is fucking shady as fuck. Let's call it what it is. Shady as fuck. One day you're talking about how you could be never married and the next day, oh, I'm getting married. Makes zero fucking sense till this fucking day. You and your purchased idiot sandwich need to shut the fuck up. Anyway, this is the last of the attention I will give you and I will deal with everything else behind the scenes. But don't, don't mistake my silence for weakness. If I had a dollar for every single time you said this is the last time, I would be a fucking billionaire by now. This isn't the last time. Because tomorrow you're going to wake up and see something else that you, you, you go online and look for because you're looking for this shit. You could easily not search your name and not fucking give a shit about what anyone's saying, but you go and search every day. So tomorrow you're going to go and see who said what about me. Uh, let me go and make a community post with an edited photo and <laughs> rage. Listen, we're sick and tired of your shit. Build a bridge and get over this already. You did what you did and that's it. You did what you did. No one made you do what you did. In fact, people were screaming at you to take care of the cats. And you fucking enjoyed putting your own audience through the distress of worrying about those cats 24-7. You did that. No one else did that. And for the record, stop referring to other people as chins when you have to wear an entire fucking bandage around your neck to attempt and hide and make a neck so that we believe you have a fu fucking neck, which we know you don't have. Also, cats, elderly cats, also stop grooming. I did not, she did not have matted fur when I had her. So that was your doing before you took her to the vet. I know the entire world of veterinary professionals who have been listening to this idiot sandwich go on about her shit that she did to this cat. Literally cringed and and probably threw shit at their screens when they heard her say you're probably the one that got her hair matted because it's not possible for the period of one to two weeks for that to happen so quickly at the severity that it was you didn't notice the mats because you weren't even fucking brushing her we saw this cat constantly walking back and forth in front of the camera. We saw the clumps building up underneath the top layer of coat. Yes, the mats start from the root and work their way up. You knew she needed brushing, but you sat there stuffing food in your fucking pie hole crying over cracky. You did not just say, seriously, everyone take a moment to laugh. Okay, moment's over. Continue later. There's more to laugh at. Not me. And also rotting teeth. She's had rotting teeth for a long time. And the vet said it wasn't worth it putting an elderly cat under the pressure and pain and anesthesia of having them fixed at her age. So yes, rotting teeth 
kidney failure, all those things are normal for an elderly cat, which is indicative that it's probably time to do the right thing. I want to know what this, who this alleged vet you took BBJ to was, because I have a few words I need to have with them. Because I don't know of a single fucking vet on earth that would be like, it's not worth getting rid of her pain. Let her be in pain. She's old. Who gives a fuck? Not a single vet on earth would do that to an animal. They would find ways. There's always a way. Perhaps pre-treatment before they put them under anesthesia, which is what she's getting now, right? She's getting that now. She's getting pre-treatment before they have to do anything of any surgical level. You're a fucking idiot. D dude, seriously, who is this vet? Because I am concerned and people need to know that this vet doesn't give a shit about animals being on, in pain. But no, you're gonna prolong the suffering so that you can milk it for clout and views. So who's the real animal abuser? Who's the real animal killer when you... <laughs> Do you have two dogs? No, you don't because you euthanize them. So you need to have several seats and shut the fuck up and get your chins again out of my life. The one who prolonged BBJ suffering was you, foodie. FFG took BBJ to the veterinarian. We all saw the paperwork. So I made a whole video based off of her paperwork, okay? Explaining in detail the diagnoses. The one who prolonged her suffering was you. How delusional are you? Look, some people just suffer from diabetes permanently and they can't ever admit to anything when there's actual paper proof in their face paper proof in their face and once again stop with the chins thing girl you ain't even got a neck anymore your fucking chins blend into your shoulders you do not have a fucking right to talk about anyone's chins you lost that years ago thank you you have been a proven liar and you sit there and accuse me and your dumb audience accuses me of lying about what? Full fucking stop right there. You did not just sit there and say you're a proven liar and you're accusing me of what? Bitch, you lie all the time. Bitch, the, the lies. That's all you're made out of lies and pie. Jesus Christ. You were just proven lies. You said on your Twitter before the stream where the cat sound was heard that you were heading home and then you're going live in 40 minutes. So you admitted on your Twitter that you're at home and then you turn around and say, I don't have the cat, I was streaming for my brothers. When you just contradicted yourself with your Twitter. Full motherfucking stop right there too. Because I'm just gonna make it clear to everyone, okay? Here's the truth. All I care about is BBJ and Sam being safe. Unfortunately, we don't know shit about Sam because this one keeps that hidden, right? But what we do know about BBJ is that BBJ is now getting the medical care. We have seen them via proof of medical documents. You cannot deny that. I don't care how much you don't like this woman. You cannot deny that BBJ is getting medical care. Feel free to have your opinions, but the proof is in the paper. We've seen photographs of BBJ finally looking relaxed. You can tell through the body language through the photographs, okay? Anyone who has studied behavior, beha animal behavior knows this, okay? That being said, I'm going to make it clear here. I do not give an ounce of a fuck if BBJ is living with FFG. What I give an ounce of a fuck about is, is BBJ happy? Yes. Is BBJ happy? Uh, getting medical care. Yes. Is BBJ finally safe? Yes. That is all I give an ounce of a fuck about. Argue with your mama. I don't know if your audience is too brain dead or they're j just so hate blind for me, which I love that for you because your entire audience is just my biggest fans. My haters are my literally my biggest fans. Nobody spends hours listening to you spew anything out of your cackling witch voice unless you really hate me. You know, I wouldn't brag about that. Because all that tells me and anyone who listens to that and it has, you know, it's using their lo logic, not their bias, that you have pissed off so many people across the world, literally, that they don't want to give you a view because they can't fucking stand you. But at this point, they're following the novella. So they're going to go to someone else 
someone who allows them to talk in their chat without being blocked instantly because they oppose you. Someone who has similar opinions to them. So the reverse psychology you're trying to do here isn't exactly doing it now, is it? So I love that for you. Everything you have in life is my leftovers while I get to live my authentic life. All right, so she literally just called the whole community leftovers. Anyone who isn't kissing her ass is a leftover. And to that, I have to say, I'd rather be a leftover than someone who kisses your fucking ass because I have better places to put my mouth in, okay? That being said, authentic life, authentic life, miss cultural appropriation. Okay, authentic, super authentic, so, so, so authentic that that your husband didn't even know when your birthday was um he left you alone new year's eve which is usually a special night for couples um hardly ever see him in videos anymore unless he's talking about ffg uh proven evidence out there that you have fed him words to say uh about you like bullshit poetry about the stars being your face or some shit more like the moon i don't fucking know um authentic life one day you're in the car saying you can never be married you can never do this you can never do that the next day you show up and you're with this idiot sandwich and you're living in a apart. You sit all day in an apartment, all day in an apartment. Get that through your all day. You don't leave the house because it's too hot, and your five hundred pound self can't handle the heat. And you just eat. And then when you're not eating, you're online looking to see what people say about you. Yeah, you have a seaside view. Do you go to that sea? No. Why? Because there isn't a fucking bathing suit in Kuwait that would fit your fucking ginormous belly. Seriously, get some perspective. Because from our perspective, you're not portraying the image of someone who's a happily newly married person. As I've said before, for the first two years I was with my husband, no one else in the world existed. I didn't give a shit. Someone could have been saying the worst shit about me and my husband and I wouldn't have given a shit. Why? Because I was happy with my husband. It's really pathetic that you don't see that. I feel actually I'm going to start pitying you from now on and pray that someday you get a real lumberjack in your life and not someone that you have to fabricate and make up. Is it the 1940s again? Are we measuring our value as a woman by the man we have standing next to us? Because if that's the case, foodie, you fucking lost. Your man <laughs> is nothing to brag about, okay? And honestly, the fact that you keep on bringing it up and then you get mad that people punk and clown on your husband... You did that to yourself, honey. Some of our partners don't want shit to do with you. In fact, my partner finds you extremely fucking repulsive and can't even bear to look at you for two seconds. So why the fuck would our partners want to be involved in Goro World when they can't even stand to look at you? Okay, not everyone needs to show off the fact that they have a partner in their life. Because why? That is something intimate and precious to us. And we don't want to involve them in your bullshittery. Uh, again, I need to emphasize the fact, Salah is nothing to brag about. Inventing that they touch you. You're projecting everything you spew in your live streams, you project onto me. Speaking of inventing that they touch you, um, the whole community has seen your man in gray sweatpants. Yes, we have all seen your man in gray sweatpants. And not for one second do we believe that there's any horizontal mambo going on between the twos of yous. Okay, so let's let's not go there, ma'am. Let's not. We've also seen his weak little teeny tiny arms. And unlike the one you were with before, who was all with that meth energy, I doubt he can lift that fupa loop of yours. You clearly have the cat. Well, it could be TV. Really? When do you hear the TV in FFG streams? Really? And what is the coincidence? It would have to be a very, very, very big coincidence for this whole ordeal with BBJ to happen? 
and for her not to have to have another cat noise in the background. Once again, I don't give an ounce of a fuck if the cat is with FFG, but since you keep on pushing the issue, I'm going to tell you this, and you're not going to like it, but I'm going to tell you anyways. If you really gave an ounce of a fuck about your cats, you would have done your due diligence. You wouldn't have gone with the first person who's been DMing you consistently to take your cats. Most of us would have had a home visit, visited with the person to see if this is a person we would like our pet to be with. Um, also brought the pet along to see how they interacted with said potential new owner. You just wanted to unload your cat and you had two options, cardboard box or stranger on the internet. You went with the latter, which ended up biting you in the ass because now the cat's with FFG and you're just pit pissed that the cat is still alive that's what this whole thing is about you did not want that cat to be alive much less in the hands of someone within the community who could let us know in detail medically documented the level of the neglect that cat was facing please go to court so the judge can laugh at you thanks you have to be dumb not only that, but Amy Flowers admitted on Twitter that she lives in California, telling one of the fa her fans or FFG's fans to go visit her in Cali. So why is the vet report in fucking French when we know this goblin is from the trashiest part of Montreal? Again, refer to my previous statement. You should have done your due diligence when rehoming BBJ. You did not because you were planning on having her euthanized regardless whether she could receive treatment or not. Okay, whose fault is that? Your fault. But thankfully, BBJ is still alive and able to at least get a, a little glimpse at what a real good life should be. Not what you were providing her, which was negligence to the level of abuse. Hello? Can you not put two and two together? I mean, have you never done a puzzle or what? Hello, can you not put two and two together? Get the fuck over this shit already, foodie. Get the fuck over this shit. We know it's the end of the month. You just got caught in a bullshit water fast, whatever you want to call it. And now you're going right back to your usual MO, which is when you get caught in something, let's talk about FFG and BBJ. The community wants you to get the fuck over this. Move the fuck on already, bitch. And for people to say, oh, well, at least, at least she's safe now. You were going to kill her. And? And? Please play this portion for the court if it ever makes it to court, if you don't get laughed off. Because this right here shows that you didn't give a shit about that cat. You just wanted to get rid of the cat with whatever means you could so that you could go chase after a paid-for rent husband. Um, you're such an idiot. You literally know that BBJ's was someone who killed both her dogs, right? How did BBJ kill both of FFG's dogs, foodie? Do you even take time to listen back to what you're saying when you're in the middle of a rager and probably try to correct or edit it? No, that would take too much time away from eating. Um, here's the thing. Those dogs were going through uh, medical treatment and between the owner and the veterinarian, they decided it was time to euthanize them. Totally different from what you were trying to do with BBJ, which was starve her for three days before you took her to the veterinarian so that the blood work could come back negatively. And you thought in your head the doctor was going to be like, well, euthanasia it is. That's not necessarily how it works all the time, ma'am. Shut the fuck up. Who euthanized their pets? Not me. FFG. Let's go with the narrative that FFG is a maniacal villain who likes to euthanize puppies left and right, according to Foodie, the way she paints it. God. Um, defamation who? What? Where? Um, sorry. Can you? What? You're what? Anywho. Wouldn't she have immediately euthanized BBJ if that was the case? Don't you think that that would have been like her option? No, the one who wanted to euthanize BBJ was you. Yeah, and the community put the pressure on you and your viewers alone put the pressure on you because when they found out that you were going to the vet to euthanize her, your words, not mine or anyone else's, 
you lost over a thousand subscribers. That's the only reason BBJ was rehomed, huh? I only said I was taking her to the vet to have her see, to see if that was the most humane thing to do. A lot of people euthanize their pets in a humane way not to prolong their suffering, which is animal abuse. Prolonging the suffering of an animal who's ill with all of those ailments you listed is called animal abuse. I will call a vet and get that confirmed. Yeah, please do, because literally that's what you did. You prolonged the suffering of BBJ. You admitted in this very video here that you were aware of her kidney disease and her dental decay, and you did nothing about it. Yeah, that was you that did animal abuse, foodie. You are the animal abuser in this scenario. Frenchie took the cat directly to a vet and is giving treatment to said cat who is now happy and thriving. So you're such an idiot. I know you're going to delete this video, but that's okay because I have the full footage. If anyone needs it, you know, hit me up. I got it. Okay. So again, and don't tell me anyone who I hate when people say, stop talking about it. This is my channel this is something that's affected my life and i have a right to point out people's lies just like they spend the three fucking hours doing about me all right so yeah so here's the deal right you're killing your own channel by continue dragging this on because all you do every single time you go on one of these ragers is you basically confess more to how much of an animal abuser you are you think in your head that by you screaming and accusing and pointing your finger at someone else that everyone's gonna believe you and be like yeah certainly ffg is the animal abuser in this situation Meh. But that's not how it works. We can think with our own brains and put two and two together, right? And it's really, really funny of you to be like, oh, just like other people cover me and call me out on my lies. Um, Ma'am, gather yourself and sit down for a second. Re-listen to this video and see how fucking stupid you sound. I will talk about what I want on my channel. And if you don't like it, go watch Mr. Rogers. And if it's good for you, it's good for others. So stop telling other people what the fuck they can and cannot talk about on their own goddamn channels. How about that? And stop recruiting other channels to do that for you as well. Um, you get so mad that people have thoughts and opinions on footage that you put out there knowing that they're going to be controversial. And then you sit there and stew and then you're like, man, I'm going to go off on someone today. Get back. All you have to do, FFG, is show the vet reports of why Maggie was murdered. Another thing that you have to do that would be so easy to do is prove that she's not with you. And nobody has proof that BBJ's okay. BBJ's in a better place. How do you know? How the fuck do you know? You have no evidence of that. She's done nothing but take your money with no evidence of BBJ being okay. At all. Nothing. You hear a whiny cry in the background. Does that mean you're abusing her? Because that's what you used to accuse me of anytime BBJ cried. So here's what's happening. Um, Foodie is lurking on the Twitters and taking statements from other folks and using them as her own to continue the fight on with FFG, which is why she's demanding that proof be shown of where BBJ is living. Okay, so we've seen photographs, plenty of them, um, of BBJ doing fine. This animal abuser is now demanding to see footage of her victim. That's all it is. And at the same time, sneaking in there, the FFG provide proof of why her dog was euthanized. So in the end, your video proves nothing except that you're taking my words out of context. I was making a joke. Anyone who's followed me knows I was joking about the dirt nap, about everything. Because she's elderly is she's on the brim of death. Let's not talk about the brim of death, foodie. Oops, that was a jokey joke. Joke, 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 joke. Um, listen. God, I... The more and more I listen to you, the more I'm just like, this woman's an entire fucking idiot. 
it gets worse, folks. Bear with me, because it gets worse. The rage just really pours out of this one. It's a fact. It's a life. Blame God. Don't get mad at me. All right? I make light of situations that are stressful for me. I've always said that. Always said that. So it proves nothing. Other than all those ailments you listed in your video, all, all attributed to being old and suffering, which you're prolonging, you animal abuser. You can keep repeating that all you want. It does not make it true because those of us who know, know. You're the one that neglected that cat to the point where she had so many medical issues, one on top of the other, that it is apparent and obvious animal abuse, even to someone who's worked in the profession. Sure, you may get an elderly cat in and now they're having kidney issues. We'll take care of that. But it is very rare where you get an animal in that's supposed to be taken care of that has all of those combined in one that dictates a situation of neglect so you can keep on trying to say that so and so is the animal this is insanity this is insanity this is literally in this is fucking insanity even the nails they grow super fast why were sam's nails okay and when i checked in kuwait a month after going her nails were fine on camera as far as i could see how do we know that Sam is okay? We don't really know that Sam is okay, do we? Because we haven't gotten any updates from you. Why? Because you wanted to give the new owner their privacy, which is not what you've done for BBJ, huh? How do we know, in fact, that Sam is healthy and thriving and had zero conditions? We don't know that, do we, foodie? Provide proof. So... Your video proves nothing. Teeth, everything. Maybe the ears. I didn't know she had an ear infection. I was taking her to the vet the next day though, but no, you got there first, right? So you can use her for clout. So everything else, kidney disease, um, all those things that you're prolonging the suffering of. Yeah, and I never starved her. So that's defamation, pure defamation. You would have known this if you had been taking the cats to the vet on the regular like you're supposed to. If you had been cleaning their ears on the regular, if you had been trimming their nails, actually touching them, not being like a little paw waving on camera, which is what happened and being like, yeah, sure, nails look fine. Um, you would have known this if you actually gave any attention to BBJ like you gave to Sam, which is why you knew Sam was okay because that was the only cat you paid attention, attention to. And you would have known this had you seen simply picked her up and looked at her paws and said, holy shit, there's a nail curling into the pad. This is bad. That's how you would have known. If she's starving, it's because she doesn't want to eat anymore because she's sick. Animal abuser. Are y'all serious? You're going to listen to this and say that this woman is okay with what she's saying. I get it that there's a lot of people that don't like reactors across the board. I'm sure there's some of you hate listening to me right now and saying that fucking bitch, I can't stand her. And that's fine. But think about the cat for a second. Are we seriously going to sit here and say that in this scenario, when it comes to FFG and foodie, that FFG is the one that should be looked at and not foodie. Not a court on earth is going to look at all the hours of footage with you and those cats and say, you were the better option. You were the better living conditions. You were the better caretaker. caretaker. Not a single court on earth. This is insanity. I fed her every day. If she wasn't fed and didn't have food, animal control would have taken her away three times they were there. Animal control has to follow the law and they cannot remove your pet from your premise unless there is visual confirmation of abuse. All of Sam's neglect was hidden underneath matted coats of fur. Matted, they will work with you and give you an opportunity to take the cat to the vet before they take the cat to their vet and have the cat assessed. That is what happened in your situation. That is why you were supposed to come back from Kuwait and directly take BBJ to the vet, which you did not. You were in Canada for three weeks 
and you waited until the last three or four days to even consider what you were going to do with BBJ. You got lucky because you booked it out of the country before anything further could be done, as was the evidence on your door full of stickers from animal control. So... If you're too all too brain dead to get this, I don't give a fuck anymore. I'm not giving your pathetic ass any more content that you rely on. I, I can't imagine you sit around with your dad. You make fun of my family. What kind of loser like your father sits around and discusses me in a disgusting way? When FFG brings your mother into this, I don't want to hear not a fucking word from you, Karen. Because you're constantly throwing rocks at people and when they turn around and pick those rocks up and throw them back at you, you want to sit there and cry victim. I don't want to hear a damn word. No wonder your pathetic, lonely, miserable ass turned out the way you did, a miserable bully. No wonder where you got it from. I always say it's the parents. Always the parents who make their kids bullies. And there you go. Pure example. You know, foodie. You know Foodie's been caught in some shit and doesn't have anything else to say about it when she starts heavily, irrationally deflecting. But you know it, especially when she resorts to the parent shaming route. Because now people are going to be talking about your mother, okay? And I don't want to hear shit from you. Because if, if your logic applies across the board, then your mother miserably failed at raising you. Mm -hmm. The fact that you don't think yourself are the version of a person who was a bully as a child and never outgrew that is, once again, insanity. Very good work you did, Mr. FFG. Very good work you did, Mrs. Foodie Booty. Anyway, no more attention for you, and anything I do will be behind the scenes. Um, I'm not sure. Like I said, don't mistake my silence for weakness. Um, okay, yeah, she'll be right back to talking about FFG as soon as FFG makes another stream addressing Foodie because Foodie keeps on bringing FFG into the topic of conversation. So naturally, someone's going to want to address it. And then she'll be right back to making stupid little community posts and videos just like this because she cannot help herself. She cannot admit to herself that she is fucking obsessed with FFG. It's fucking get it, get it over with, get it done with, get it over with and get it done with. Because every single thing you've said wrong about me all of these years you put into the, your miserable hate and defaming my character, everything you've done, you will reap what you sow. Ha, ha, look at her trying to be all prophetic. You will reap what you sow. Chun, chun, chun. Oh my God, foodie, if you only knew the true meaning behind that, because look at the situation you're in right now. Look at your situation. You're trying so hard to portray yourself as this happy person, which we can all see evidence through this video that you are not quite that happy person that you're trying to portray yourself to be, right? In fact, you're experiencing what you've done, the karma catching up with you currently in Kuwait. I have nothing further to say about this person. She's just infuriating. What I do want to add is get this shit over with. It's fucking old. Get over it. You didn't do your due diligence. You've expired. You, It's done. You can no longer fucking cry about this shit. It is done. Especially when there's evidence out there of you being neglectful towards the cats. Okay? And I do want to reiterate, since you want to ask for proof on shit... I think the community would like to know what's going on with Sam. Hmm? What were Sam's results from the veterinarian? How is Sam living now? How do we know Sam's okay? How do we know you didn't put Sam in a cardboard, cardboard box, huh? We don't have evidence of that. You haven't shown anything. So show it. I'm fucking done with this. I'm so sick and fucking tired of this. And then to top it off, you go and you get another cat for what? Out of spite? You know you're not a nurturer by nature. You know that you don't have that in you. You have proven it to yourself time and time again. And you go and you get a cat and a hamster, which no one has seen, by the way. So who knows if the hamster is even alive anymore. 
just out of spite. Who the fuck does that? Anywho, that's enough bitching for me. I just had some shit to say. Thank you so much if you made it all the way through the end of this video. If you didn't, that's okay because this is some bullshit. And you know this, man. through this year. I haven't been just drunk in forever. You miss my fat puss, don't you?